This is DFW Home Talk, where we educate you on the real facts of the local real estate, credit, and finance markets, empowering you to make informed decisions for you and your family, achieve financial goals, and the dream of home ownership with financial security. Now your host, Kimberly Beckham. When going into a builder, there's a lot of people think that I'm going to get a better deal if I walk into the builder and negotiate directly with the builder. I'm going to get a better deal. He's going to cut me a deal because there's no realtor there. I've seen it happen over and over again that people really get in a bad situation and it ends up costing them tons more money. What are your thoughts on that? And why is it so important for the realtor really to step in and negotiate all that process? Most most people, when they're buying a new house, they think, well, I'm going to have to pay for the uh realtor, the buyer's realtor that's representing me. And that's not the case. The case is the builder already has it factored in to they're going to pay a a realtor, a buying realtor, uh, a commission. The sales rep is going to be paid by the builder. And also the buyer's realtor is going to be paid um, from the um, builder. I have seen way too many times where people go in and they're buying a new house and all they see is is the new house. They don't take in consideration that you're not getting any blinds. They don't know what upgrades are are with the house. They uh, no garage door openers. There's a lot of things that you don't take in consideration when you're walking into a new house. You just see this new house. They always show you the model house and then they and then they go and they show you the other houses that they're selling. And they just assume everything that's in the model house is going to come with the house that they're building. That's exactly right. P- who pays? Uh, you were talking about the builder has the commission set in. So really, I don't see any reason why somebody would not, uh, a buyer would not use a realtor when they're going to deal with building a house. You're getting free representation. It doesn't cost you anything. One thing also, you want to make sure that you're not overbuilding for the neighborhood or for the area that you're in. Um, what what are the uh, development, what, what are their plans, what commercial um, properties are by. You want to make sure that you, if you build a house and it backs up to a vacant lot, that that vacant lot is not where they're going to put a, a big shopping center. And, and if it is, then at least you knew that when you were purchasing it. But you wouldn't have any clue. And, and most of the time, the sales rep is just going to tell you, well, we really don't know what's going back there. It's just vacant land at this point. When you're building a house, what things, I know when you buy something existing, that it already has the blinds, it already has the landscaping, it already has possibly wood floors in there, versus when you build, is that stuff normal and customary? Are those upgrades? Who pays for those? Who negotiates that? Most of your upgrades are all going to be at the buyer's expense, and that's what I was saying earlier. You don't want to overbuild it. You don't want to have a house where... You put too many upgrades in there, and then when you go to resell it, you're never going to recoup that money. You need to make sure that you have a professional that knows the market, that knows what's being built in the area, that knows, hey, this is a value or a price point that you need to be at, and and don't go any more than that because you're not going to be able to recoup the money. Houses in the neighborhood or in the area um, don't warrant what the value is that you're buying that house for. Is there some benefit... When a new neighborhood's established, and a lot of times they'll have specials uh, for, to get the first couple of houses up on and going, is there some benefit to being one of the first people to buy in a development or to wait until that development is further uh, established more? You know, um, it, it depends on what area you're, you're in. Uh, a lot of times buying one of the first ones, they do give you a better deal. Um, the, the, the good thing about that is you get to actually pick your lot. You've got a lot more lots to pick from, so you can kind of put yourself in that subdivision where you want to be in the subdivision. Um, A lot of times you'll buy a house and then they start raising the value of the house. The builder does. So your actual value keeps going up. So it's it's one of those where sometimes when you get on the ground floor is the best best way. Um, and, And also when builders are closing out, when they only have a few lots, if you if you go to a neighborhood and they don't have a model house anymore, they've already sold it. There's a good chance that they're trying to get out of that neighborhood, and that's a good a good time when the house is sitting on the market. The builder's paying interest every day. That's a good time to take advantage. <laughs>